In this GeoMap app tutorial on available data, we'll explore the contents of the Base Maps menu. In GeoMap app, the Base Maps menu provides access to a large number of built in grids and images that are at both global and regional scale. We'll select the Tear Off Menus option here in order to make it a bit easier to navigate the menus. When we click the Tear Off Menus option, a navigation window appears. Let's look at a few examples of the built-in grids and images. First, let's load the geological map for the state of Kansas from the US Geological Survey. For this, we click on the menu turndown for geological maps here, select North America, United States, and the state geological maps. Then we click once on the menu item for Kansas, and hit the OK button at the bottom. Two things happen after clicking the OK button. First, the geological map has been loaded, and second, the layer manager window has appeared. For now, let's minimize the layer manager and the base maps navigation windows, and we'll zoom to the area of the geological map. Here we see the geological map of the state of Kansas overlain on the GeoMap app base map. Using the layer manager window, the legend for the geological map is displayed by clicking the legend symbol here. Like so. Also, we can find out more information about the map by clicking the information symbol here. And as we've seen in the other tutorials, we can change the transparency of the geological map overlay by sliding the opacity scale bar to the left and right. And we can save this image by going to the File, Save As menu. Second, let's look at a data set of global ocean temperature. For this, we turn down the Ocean Temperature menu and select the dataset we wish to view. Let's choose this one. When we hit the OK button, the dataset will load. After the dataset loads, let's minimize the base map's navigation window so we can see the display properly. A window popped up that shows the color scale used in this display. In this case, giving the temperature between minus 2 degrees centigrade and 35 degrees centigrade. We can once again use the layer manager window to change the opacity of the sea surface temperatures. And by clicking the information symbol, we find more information. As a third example of the types of data available in the base maps menu, Let's look at a grid that gives the depth to the top of the subducting slab for the Lesser Antilles. For this, we click on the Regional Grids menu turndown here, select the Subduction Interface Depth menu, and go in the menu for the Syracuse and Abras 2006 data. When we choose the Lesser Antilles and hit the OK button, the grid will load. And we see that we have a layer manager window here and the grid dialog window here. All of the grid related functionality that we're accustomed to using with built in and imported grids is also available to us with this particular grid. In the grid dialog window, we can draw contours, take profiles, change the vertical exaggeration, choose a different angle for sun illumination change the color palettes, and so on. Please see the other tutorials on grid functions for more information on this. More information about this particular dataset is found by clicking the information button here in the layer manager window. And lastly, we can save the grid and the image in various formats by going to the file save menu.
More information on GeomapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.